Okay, um, there's our bees! We had bees under our house over there for like a year, and apparently the hive split, which means there's another queen, and now we have two hives. So this hive, these bees have defected and followed the new leader, queen bee, over here. Um, they're looking for a home, so there's still bees coming in and out of the other side of the house, down under the crawl space, where the other hive is, so... Um, all of them seem to be pretty nice bees. None of them have ever tried to attack or sting us or do anything. And since bees are endangered, we've been following the live and let live. We've kind of rented out our crawl space to them. So now we got to figure out, we're, we're hoping to be beekeepers. And Phil wants to make a Kenyan top. Top bar hive. Top bar, a Kenyan, K-E-N-Y-A-N. Kenyan top bar hive, which is supposedly a little more natural and bio-agreeable to bees, um, made for bees rather than made for the ease and comfort and design of a beekeeper himself. Here they are. Here's my hand. See, they never have stung us or done anything. Um, so you can see kind of, these are pretty, probably about like two inches thick of bees. Um, so like I said, these guys need a home. They're just right now have depart, you know, split off from the other hive. So to start their own. There's quite a few drones in here. Not many, but a few. We haven't seen the queen yet. Um, so anyway, we're hoping to build and put together a top bar hive for them tomorrow. Go to Home Depot and get the stuff and, and get these bees. Um, see if they'll accept a new home from us and some whatever bee food. I don't know what they eat, but um, anyway, we hope to become little beekeepers out here in the desert. There's our bees. <laughs> okay. <Or> tomorrow. <laughs> From Joshua Tree, <laughs> California. Or tomorrow with a hive. <laughs> with a home. <laughs>